people with shade typically have great lawns in June, only to discover that by July, the grass isn't doing too good. With me is Dave Minner from ISU. And Dave, what are some tips for growing grass in the shade? Well, Liz, actually today we're out here at our research facility where we study uh, trees and, and grass, and usually the trees win. <laughs> uh, one of the things we found is that our favorite grass, Kentucky bluegrass, doesn't do too well in the shade. Uh, the lack of light hurts it, and uh, the powdery mildew uh, also is a, is a problem for it. So the preferred grass is going to be creeping red fescue. You may know it as fine fescue. Okay. It's our most shade tolerant grass. And if you can't grow a fine fescue in the shade, then you probably can't grow grass. You ought to look at something else. <laughs> All right. Some of the uh, other things you can do is to uh, mow taller underneath of a shade tree because the tree's taking all the good light, so the taller grass actually can, can grow better. Another thing is that um, the tree, again, can get most of the rain. If we just have a light shower, it absorbs the rain and, and uh, the it can be quite dry underneath the tree in the drip line. So make sure you're watering some in the middle of the summer, even though it's a nice cool, cool area. Now what about fertilizing? Ah, we probably don't want to fertilize too much under, underneath the shade tree. Again, the fine fescue doesn't like too much fertilizer, so it'd be a good, good reason not to use it. One final tip might be that if you have morning sunlight, that's going to be the best sunlight for growing grass. Hmm. Okay. Now what if you do all these tips and you still have some bare spots? Well, you know, we don't like to give up on our grass too much, but sometimes <laughs> it's okay to do that. Ah, okay. And one of the things you might want to do is just switch to a different plant, something like vinca or ferns or hostas, and also make a nice uh, bedded area around the tree so you don't have to run up against the tree with a, with a mower. Just go ahead and start mulching wherever the grass won't grow, make a nice mulch bed. All right, well, thanks for the tips. And if you'd like more information on lawn care, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gelman.